Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are checking out a clip from Tom Segura and I have reacted to Tom Segura before but it has been a while but he has made me laugh um, on the channel so I'm excited. So without further ado, here we go. Imagine serial killers feel when they meet each other the first time. They're like, you know, you do it differently than on the way I do it but I totally respect your commitment to the craft. What? Some kind of intro. I'm gonna get in trouble for this. If this is a comedy central introduction, I'm gonna get in trouble for it. This is not happening. Travel. I think all of this is just sort of an intro, so I'm gonna move past it because that's the kind of stuff. That so here's the show. It's YouTube just a bunch of funny people who are all more telling true stories. Flag. Please give it up for a very good friend of mine, Mr. Tom Segura, everybody. <laughs> all right. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not. Is he in a carousel? Comedians' lives are lonely. It's a lonely existence. I mean, you're in airports and hotels and cities with strangers every week. It gets lonely. Like, it really does. Yeah. Like, you can only, you can only masturbate like so many times before you're like, I gotta get something to eat, you know? Like, <laughs> it's one of those things. Okay. You gotta find something to boost you up. You know what's the biggest boost, the biggest spark when you're on the road is actually running into another comedian. It's the best. Mm. I can't even describe kind it. Kind of re-motivate you. It's the one thing that you're like, yes. If it's a comedian you already know, it's like a reunion. And if it's a comedian you've never met, there's so much excitement at the potential. You're like, yeah. oh, is he gonna be weird? Is he gonna be hilarious? Is it gonna be hilarious how weird he is? <laughs> like, there's so much there. You know, it's how I imagine serial killers feel when they meet each other the first time. They're like, <laughs> you know, you do it differently than on the way I do it, but I totally respect your commitment to the craft. Like, that's funny. You keep their toes in jars. That's nuts. That's awesome. So. I'm at the airport. Random question. And I'm I need to pause anyway for the uh, copyright thing. I wonder which comedians are friends with who, uh, and if they have like a club, not a club, but if they all hang out. From what I understand, Dave Chappelle and Bill Burr are pals, but I wonder what other comedians know each other because... Seems like that would be really cool for them to be friends. Tom Segura with Bill Burr, Dave Chappelle, whoever else. I mean, obviously, there's a lot more comedians than that, but I'm just saying as an example, because then they could bounce ideas off of each other. Seems like if you brought great comedians together, they could potentially really advance even further um, their material. Hopefully that makes sense. In jars, that's nuts. That's awesome. So... <laughs> I'm at the airport and I'm waiting to board a flight and who do I see at the gate boarding the same flight? The comedian Bruce Bruce. Now, if you don't know who Bruce Bruce is, super successful comic, he's had TV shows, he sells out clubs and theaters everywhere. He's awesome. I've never met him. I see him at the gate. I'm like, I'm going to go talk to Bruce Bruce. And then I go, no, you're not. Bruce Bruce doesn't want to talk to you. Uh, uh, uh. So I don't say anything. Well, how do you then even we board know the flight, and I get upgraded. Woo, woo! Upgraded. <laughs> and now, who is sitting directly across the aisle from me? Bruce Bruce. <laughs> now I can't help myself. Yeah. Now I have to say something. Yeah. So I introduce myself to Bruce Bruce. Now, for this to really make sense to you, if you don't know who he is, I have to paint a picture, okay? Uh -huh. Bruce Bruce is black. He has dreads, and he's a big boy, all right? Like, when okay. you say your name twice, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Bruce Bruce is like four bills, okay? So, I might name myself Tom Tom if I gain another 100 pounds. So, <laughs> I'm sitting across the aisle from Bruce Bruce, and I introduce myself, and he could not be nicer. Just to give you an idea of his status, we're at the gate, on this plane, and they, the flight attendant announces that we're stuck at the gate. And she says, you can get off if you want to, just take your boarding pass with you, and then you can get back on. So as I'm talking to him and they say that, I go, I'm not getting off. And he goes, I'm not getting off. 
And then a woman, a passenger from the back of the plane, walks up, and she leans down to him, and she goes, I'm getting off. Is there anything you want or need? And he goes, I would love some candy. <laughs> and she goes, candy? And he goes, Twix, Skittles, shit like that. <laughs> And then she gets off the plane. Maybe it's a And I like go, who employee. is that? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, are strangers just buying you candy? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> I want to see him do it again. I'm like, sorry. Like, that's Bruce Bruce. <laughs> I want to see him do that. Yeah, I like it. I like uh, whatever you would call that. Imitation. I don't think imitations are words. Something like, like that. are strangers just buying hey. you candy? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> like that's Bruce Bruce status, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we keep talking. We start start talking about gigs that we've done, and we start talking about comedians and who's funny. Who are the funniest comics ever? And we start literally listing well, comedians through time. Like we start with like. Lenny Bruce and Dick Gregory, and we talk about George Carlin and Richard Pryor, all the way through Eddie Murphy, and then to today, you know, Kevin Hart and Dave Attell. And then Bruce Bruce says, that's all good. I don't know Dave Attell. But do you know who the funniest cat of all time is? Now, I think it's a setup. I think he's going to be like, it's me, bitch. I'm the funny. Like, it's like that, right? <laughs> that's what I think it's going to be. And I'm going to let him have it. So I go, now, nah, like, who's the funniest cat of all time? And he goes, Andy Griffith. And I go, what? <laughs> and he goes, Andy Griffith. And I go, are you talking about like, <laughs> that dude? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you ever been to the Andy Griffith Museum before? And I go, what kind of question is that? No, of course not. <laughs> is that real? And he goes, real? They have the car that he used to sit in, and you can sit in it too, and you can touch shit that he used to touch. <laughs> And he goes, do you ever see episode 215 of the Andy Griffith Show? <laughs> and I go, no, ass burgers. I didn't see episode 215. <laughs> and he goes, that's my favorite episode. It originally aired March 13th, 1967. And I go, are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> and he goes, nah, it was March 13th, 1967. <laughs> and then he ate Twix and he didn't talk to me for the rest of the flight. But I am begging you, if you ever see Bruce Bruce anywhere, walking around, sitting down, at a show, anywhere, just go, hey man, Andy Griffith is the shit. And he'll be like, oh no, I've been saying that shit. And he'll lose his mind. <laughs> That's it for me. You guys are the best. That was way too short. Way too short. Um, months ago, I had tried to do a full special to Tom Segura because I had watched several clips of him and I tried to do a full special but it kept getting blocked and so I just I don't even remember what that special was called I had watched perhaps half of it um, but I never finished it let me know if I should because I can always make it Patreon um, exclusive and just upload highlights here that was funny it was way too short way too short I really like his impressions that's the word and now I feel like I need to watch episode 215 of Andy Griffith Griffith it came on on TV when I was young um I wasn't young in the 60s I wasn't alive then but reruns or whatever it was came on when I was young and I saw some of it but I don't remember it like that was a long time ago but I don't remember Andy Griffith being particularly funny but who knows? Uh, I'm going to watch episode 215 at some point, unless I forget. Anyway, I enjoyed that clip. Thank you for the recommendation. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.